the privilege of uh, uh, taking care of devotional services and uh, we had a wonderful praise service. I'm sorry we weren't able to record it, but uh, we had a wonderful praise service how uh, 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 different ones got up and said how they were baptized and some said how they heard Bishop Johnson, how they come to be baptized. And uh, uh, before they haven't, uh, Bishop, uh, I noticed before they haven't, uh, haven't Bishop come on, they're having an offering. There's an offering being taken up now. And uh, so I would have a little longer to talk. I was trying to rush right through before Bishop uh, was announced, but I see they are taking up the offering, so I do have a little longer to talk. And I just want to say again that two were baptized this evening while devotional services was being on. Bishop is uh, sitting up in the pulpit, and um, incidentally he was here most of testimonies, how they uh, were thanking God for him, even how they heard him over the uh, XCRF, and uh, how many of them are ready to obey. It's not, uh, uh, the place is not crowded, although like I said uh, this afternoon it uh, seats, I think, 4,200 people. Of course, it's not uh, nearly that many here, but I would say it's at least about, I suppose, about 500 people here tonight. There's more here tonight than it is. Uh, than it was that it is uh, dawn the noonday services. As uh, many believe that uh, the people who are at the false churches today, uh, I believe today is Mother's Day, and of course they uh, observe that pretty well by going to church. So we say um, we say there are about uh, I say close to 500 people here tonight. Uh, most unsaved, as you know, and uh, there are also some of the people who come from the surrounding areas. Louisiana and uh, little towns uh, uh, around about Houston. I believe we're going to have a wonderful services this week, and uh, we will be recording them incidentally, and we will uh, endeavor to record anything of any interest. Uh, as far as debates are concerned, we haven't had any as yet. Uh, that is public debates. I don't know if Bishop had any little side debates. Uh, but uh, there haven't been any uh, public debates. If so, we are sure we'll do our best to record them. There was a man who was supposed to be waiting for Bishop to come here to rec uh, debate him, but uh, somehow or another, he backed out. But, as I said, uh, maybe there will be a debate or so before the services or the meeting is over. Elder Selby just returned from uh, baptizing the two candidates that wanted to be baptized right away. I don't know what the purpose was. Maybe they had to go back or something. Nevertheless, they uh, didn't want to wait to after the, after the services to be baptized, and they were baptized uh, while devotional services were going on. Uh, this time we're going to cut off here, and we'll cut back. We'll turn on again when the bishop is... Uh, Introduced. Unto you in person, same Bishop S.C. Johnson that you've been hearing over your local station, KYOK. Bishop is um, now being uh, uh, introduced, and uh, so now we're going to turn back and uh, see just what's about to take place. Now we want to thank Minister Davis and I'm glad to be present with you that we might declare unto you what must be done in order to save your soul from an eternal, everlasting hell. I'm here to tell you <clears throat> what you ought to do. Something that you ought to do to save your soul from hell. And of course, whatever the Word of God tells us to do in order to save our soul. And everybody ought to do that. <clears throat> I know that you've been worshiping some kind of way. Some kind of way. But you're 
bishop is not right, the whole religious world has made a failure. Whole religious world. I want you to hear me. This is your privilege, Houston. They're not here, but anyhow, they ought to be here. They got a place big enough so that they would have somewhere to sit down if they would come. But many of them have counted themselves unworthy of eternal life. I'm not here of myself. I'm not here of myself. I want you to understand it was God's purpose to send me this way and uh, send that broadcast in. And everyone that have ever heard that broadcast at my mouth won't have no excuse when you meet God. Only be one thing to do. And that is to go right into the lake of fire and stay in the lake of fire long as God lives. Amen. I'm not proselyting. Not by any means. I'm not money, honey. This place was paid for about a week or two. Paid for. Before I got here. We took the check. To the city auditorium. And it's paid for. People in our midst desire to give, amen. If they don't, we're just as happy. Not money, honey. Amen. But being mood of God to give you a chance to save your soul. That's why I'm here. Amen. I have just a handful of people here. Just a handful tonight. A handful. And if you could look in my temple, in my tabernacle at 22nd and Bainbridge Street in Philadelphia tonight, then you'd wonder what on earth is wrong with me to be here to speak to a handful of people, leaving such a beautiful edifice, and come here, then you'd wonder. But God sent me this way in order to give you a chance. You know, I've told you there is only one thing right Hear me now. <laughs> Only one thing right. And I had that. And I'm ready to prove it now with the Bible. When the Bible talks, that's it. You know, use nobody else talking. When the Bible talks, that's it. God never had no two ways or two things for the people to do in no one dispensation. In every dispensation, God had one thing for the people to do. Now then, it's worse now than ever was. It's worse now than ever was. Now you follow me. In the dispensation of innocence, they had one thing to do, and that was to stay away from the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Don't eat it. In the dispensation of conscience, which was the second dispensation, everybody, in order to be saved, had to go in the ark. And them that didn't go in the ark drowned. There come a human government dispensation that God let the people do as they please. That was the third dispensation. But that closed out. Didn't last. Then after that, there come the fourth dispensation. And God told Abraham, walk before me and be perfect. Then after that comes the fifth dispensation. 
Yeah, man. Fifth. And everybody that didn't obey Moses died. Are you listening to me? Died. I don't care what he believed or what he was taught. He died. Then after that, here come God coming down from heaven this time himself. Because the Bible says, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Because he has visited and redeemed his people. God came. That was Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was God. Manifested in the flesh. All right, when he got here, he come with something different from what any of them had. But all that is before him, he sent them. And they delivered to the world what God had for the world for that dispensation. That's right. Now in this dispensation, here come God, Jesus Christ. He is God was God, right. going to be God. Right. We don't have no three like the preacher's been preaching. That's a lie. That is a lie. And no three God. No. It's only one God. Right. Jesus Christ is he. Right. Before he put on a body, he was God. Yes, he was. Yeah, man, I. Before he put a body on, he was God. While he had on the body, he was God. Right. When he took off the body, he was God. Right. He was the one that met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the king. Yeah. He was the same one. Same one. Wasn't another one. Jesus Christ was he. Right. Met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the king and blessed. Then when he got to standing up in the flesh, let's read that. Yeah. In the 8th chapter of John. In the 8th chapter of John, beginning at verse 56. John 8, 56. Yes. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. They were talking about Abraham, and Jesus told them, Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. He saw my day and was glad. Now I want you to notice this. Now you know how long Abraham had been dead before Jesus got here? I'll tell you. I'm sure many don't know. Before Jesus was born, that body of his was born, Abraham had been dead. 1,800 and some years before he was born in the flesh. Right. And he told the Jews, Abraham rejoiced to see my day. And what, he saw well, it. well, what would you think of that? Now, according to his flesh, he wasn't 50 years old. No. And he said he saw Abraham. And Abraham was 1,800 years gone when he was born. And he said he saw Abraham. You believe it? Amen. Amen. I told you he was God before he got in the body. He only got in the body so he could shed blood and redeem us back to what we had lost. But he was God before then. Always was. So he said to them, Abraham, rejoice to see my day. He saw it. He saw it and was glad. Now the Jews detected something. Notice what the Jews saying about it. Then said the Jews unto him. Then the Jews said to him, Thou art not yet fifty years old. You are not fifty years old. Abraham had been dead eighteen hundred years. And you are not fifty years old. And hast thou seen Abraham? You saw Abraham and you're not 50 years old? And Abraham been dead 1,800 years? 
and you tell us that you saw Abraham? Uh -huh. Amen. What did he say to them? Jesus said unto them, What? Verily, verily, I say unto you, I'm going to tell you something. Before Abraham was, he made it what? It was enough to say he was longer than Abraham did. Then it jumped over and told him, I'm going to tell you something. That's right. Before Abraham was, I am. I am. That's right. Man, before Abraham was, before Abraham was, I am. These would be preachers running around here making three. It was three manifestations of the same one. That's right. He was father in creation. That's right. When he was born of the woman, he became son in redemption. When he died and come on back, went to heaven and come back in the church on the day of Pentecost, he's now Holy Ghost in the church. That's right. He's got three titles. That's right. But he's one person. That's right. Like you. Amen. You have three titles. Somebody looking at me tonight's got three titles. Uh -huh. huh? Amen. You are a daughter. That's right. You are a wife. That's right. You are a mother. That's right. How many are you? One. How many names you got? One. He was father in creation, son in redemption. Right. Holy Ghost in the church. Right. Even after he died and went down to hell and come back and went on to heaven, give me Revelation 1 8. Revelation 1 8. Let me see how I talk. Yeah. Damn it. Revelation 1 8. Yes. Beginning at the seventh verse. You've never heard the gospel in your life. Never heard it. Never heard it. Have you heard it at That's time. right. You never heard it. Amen. My God, because the stuff you've heard, I can condemn it less than two minutes. Amen. Amen. And I do it with the Bible. Amen. By the fine body in Houston or coming to Houston or ever been to Houston to condemn one thing I've ever preached. Amen. Amen. I defy creation. Amen. I say I defy creation. Thank God. To condemn one thing. Amen. That I've ever preached. Amen. And here in person to stand behind it. Amen. And back it up with fire. Amen. All right. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Behold, he. Not faith cometh with clouds. He. That's right. That means one is coming. One is coming. Amen. That's right. And O2 two coming. Amen. Thank God. One church. He's the groom. Church is the bride. Right. Amen. You women that got married, you know how many men married you that night. That's <laughs> true. Don't you? Amen. Amen. And there'd not have been but one round. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Paul said, I have espoused you to how many husbands? One husband. One husband. Even. That you might be a chaste virgin to Christ. To Christ. Right. One husband. Behold, he cometh. That's right. Behold, he cometh with clouds. I heard a man last night, he didn't know no better. Don't none of them know. No. You hear me? I said, don't none of them know. Right. I'm out of he believed it was three distinct persons in the Godhead. Amen. Three distinct persons in the Godhead. That isn't found nowhere. No. Amen. In the Bible. Don't run to First John 5, 7, because I'll shoot you out from there. <laughs> That's right. Cut that limb off. <laughs> Amen. Bible says there are three that bear record uh -huh. in heaven. Mm -hmm. The Father, yeah. Follow me now. That's right. First I, John five seven. I told you they didn't know. The Father, for there are three that bear record in heaven. Three that bear record in heaven. Now, our uh, you take foreign language is backward to our uh, English expression. It's back, just like Hebrew and Spanish and other uh, languages. It's backward to our expression. 
now uh, to give us a fair light to says three that bear record in heaven because the, uh, the English expression is different from uh, foreign or uh, Hebrew. Hebrew says, here we is the Lord. Uh, English says, here we is the Lord, our God is one Lord. Hebrew says, here we is the Lord, our God is God one. That's right. Amen. So then there were three records yes. in heaven of the one. That's right. Three records of one. That's right. Not three that bear records. No. That's right. That would contradict the Bible. That's right. Three records of one. Amen. Hear me now. It's coming out like the Bible brings it. Yes. Read it. For there are three that bear record in heaven. Yeah. The Father. The Father is God. That's right. The Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. That's God too. That's right. And the Holy Ghost. There is but one Spirit, and God is a Spirit. That's right. And the Holy Ghost is God too. That's right. And how many you got? And these three are one. These three are how many? And these three are one. So then there are three records of one That's it. in heaven, not three in heaven. But God said he spread both the heaven alone. Yes, he did. And spread the broad earth by himself. Right. And any time you do a thing alone by yourself, you ain't got nobody with you. That's right. That's right. God said it wasn't none with you. Yes, he did. Give me Deuteronomy. Give me the 32nd chapter. 32nd chapter. Deuteronomy. Oh, Deuteronomy, verse 39. And the verse 39. Let's see. Let me see who God have any with it. See now. I believe you'll believe God, won't you? Amen. All right, let's see how many God have with it. See now. See now. That I. That I. Even I. Even I. Am he. Am he. And there is no God with me. God said, ain't done with him. <laughs> God said, there is none with him. That's right. Well, why is the mother too the preacher's been telling you about? <laughs> Who do you believe, God or the preacher? <laughs> Better believe God. Huh? Got to believe God. God said, ain't none with him. That's right. Didn't it? Amen. That ain't no God with me. That's right. Now that same God, Jesus Christ in Revelation 1 8. That's right. Let us hear what he talked after he came down, put on a body, died, shed his blood, went down the hill, come back, went on, and then come back in the church. He appeared to John. Yes. Out there on an the aisle that was called Pat. Right. Didn't he? That's right. Let's hear him talk now. Behold, he cometh with clouds. He. Not me cometh with clouds. You know, if it had been more than one, you couldn't have said he. No. Have to say faith. That's right. Huh? That's right. He cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him. And every eye shall see him. They also which pierced him. And they that pierced him. All the senses of the earth shall wail, shall wail because, of, because him. of him. Even so, amen. Yes. I am Alpha. I, personal pronoun. I am Alpha. And Omega. That is, uh, he was before everything. Yes. Before the morning stars sang together. Yes. Sons of God hadn't shouted for joy. He told hadn't walked down the eyes of solitude. Yes. Sun hadn't shined. Right. Fountain hadn't brought forth no water. Yes. Wind hadn't blown. Yes. Or to God, the empty space hadn't been swung out over the north. Yes. Yeah, he talk about, I'm out. I am out. Glory to God. Didn't yes. it? Yes. I am out. Ah, that's right. I, that's it. I was before all things. I was before him. Angels. Thank God it hadn't sang. Right. Oh, it's just God. He was before the angels oh, sang. Amen. 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 Amen.
That's not the truth. That's a lie. That's right. He was Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Right. All of that. That's right. Huh? That's right. But what had come here, we hadn't never sinned. God would have never had to come here in a body. That's right. But without the shedding of blood, it wouldn't be no remission of sin, so some blood had to be had shed. To be shed. Yeah. And the blood of bulls and heifers and turtle doves and pigeons couldn't do it. Because they come under the cut. That's right. Amen. But when he got you, he was born, praise God, holy. Yeah. But the Bible said that holy thing that shall be born of her yeah. shall be called God's son. Right. Amen. That was the son of the eternal spirit because the spirit made that body from Mary's body. Right. Amen. Without a man touching her, so he was in that. And when he come and shed his blood and he put that body in the grave, the eternal spirit that was in that body, God came out of the body so that body could die. Amen. When he went to the cross, when God came out of that body, that divine life come out of the body and that natural human life died, yes. then that left that body a natural body. That's right. Then God, the eternal one, took that body over and put it on, praise God, and went on up to heaven and over here now in Revelation. Right. He's appearing, praise God, talking to John. That's right. Tell him who he was. That's right.
understand and understand that I am he. I am he. Before me. Listen, that's it. That's just like his talk in Revelation. Before me, there was no God formed. Was no God formed before me. Neither he knew it. That's true. He outlived everything and always was. Yes. So if anything ever went on, he knows about it. Right. And he's telling us there was no God formed before me. Before me, mm -hmm. there was no God there formed. There was no God formed. Neither shall there be. There's not going to be no God after me. After me. Amen. I, I, even I am the Lord, am the Lord. And beside me, and beside me, there is no Savior. That's the way he's talking over here in Revelation. He is before all things, he's yes. going to be after all things. That's right. He was here yeah, when things started, and he's going to be here when everything ends up. Right. And that was Jesus. Right. What is saying, Revelation? I am Alpha. I am Alpha. And Omega. And Omega. The beginning. Yeah, that. Jesus said, I'm the beginning. Yeah. I'm the beginning. I'm the ending. I'm the end of all things. All right. Say the Lord. Say the Lord, which is, which is, and which was, and which was, and which is to come. That's the same one. Same one. What? The Almighty. Is Jesus Christ the Almighty? Amen. He said he was. Amen. He said, he's the one that was. Yeah. There was a God, Jesus, that he is. Right. He said, I am he that is. Yes. Yeah. And if there is a God, Jesus, is he. Amen. Amen. And I'm the one to come. The Almighty. And when he gets here, it's going to be Jesus. That's right. Yeah. And he said, he's the Almighty. Right. Amen. I wonder what you said. He's the Almighty. Right. Now then, to serve him with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength, you wouldn't have nothing left for nobody else. Or you would. If it was too more, the sin would be neglected. That's true. Isn't that right? Amen. Somebody calling you all day to do something. Yeah. And one calling you all day and you're too old for that calling. Huh? I'm in a work for two different men same day. Say, so yeah, I worked downtown today and I worked uptown too. Put in eight hours. Uptown and eight hours downtown. Well, everybody knows that's not the truth. <laughs> because you was on your job from eight to four. And the one downtown didn't get nothing. That's true. How in the world can you serve two? Huh? It's impossible. That's right. Now that one God came here and brought now what the world's got to get. That's no right. use talking. Amen. Every false, hear me good. <laughs> Every false church under the sun might as well put a padlock on the doors and let the preachers go to work. Praise God and make his living and go to hell free of charge. <laughs> God Almighty brought down from heaven what the world must accept. Amen. God brought it. I said God brought it. And Jesus Christ was God. Amen. Now I'm going to show you by the Bible what everybody got to do. You, you, I don't care if you pass the church, you don't care what they're giving you, I don't care how many members you got, you're going to do this, that's true. Or else you're going to hell forever. Amen. Amen. Because don't none of them know no. claim with soul, collecting money and the people on the way to hell, living 
in the selfness, going after pride, playing the devil, doing anything they're big enough to do, and paying dues. Amen. Don't you pay no dues, you go to hell free.
Amen. You know, people get baptized the wrong way, and then jump up and say, well, the Bible said one baptism. They meant the right one. Yes. You may have one woman in here to take out tonight, but you better get a hold to the right one. That's right. Right now to get a hold of the wrong one. Do somebody gonna call your hand. That's right. Hey, what's, what's the matter, buddy? <laughs> That's my way. That's right. Huh? That's right. And you know her face. And you can identify her by her face. One Lord, one faith, one faith, one baptism, and one baptism. That's right. And the people don't have that one baptism. They don't know nothing about it. No. The devil hurried up and filled the world full of faith. Am I right? That's true. That's true. Hurried up after the real thing came here, yeah, yeah, and the apostle yeah, preached yeah. it and wrote it and died, and the devil come up in the dark age and filled whole creation with many things. And the Bible said one thing, right? What faith is that? Somebody said the faith that was once delivered to sin. This thing called faith mouth, everything got that. Drunk? Yeah. Well, I, I, I was born a Methodist. You can't stand it. You were born what? My mother was a Methodist. Well, that ain't the faith. This Bible, oh, I want to talk about that. Talking about the faith that was once delivered to saints. Right. That one faith. Yes. Huh? Amen. One Lord. One faith. Jesus Christ is he. Jesus Christ. One faith. Right. That's the faith once delivered to saints. Right. How many of that is One Baptism. What baptism is that? Baptism is the name of Jesus Christ. That's the only one out there in the body to grow. It's only one baptism for the world to get today, and that is the water baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. Because that's the only one left.